Marina Network Operator OnSpot is banning Wi-Fi extenders from use on all of their Marina networks. We got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on OnSpot. Now, OnSpot is a network provider that works with marinas to provide marina Wi-Fi at a whole uh, collection of marinas, mostly up and down the East Coast, some in the Caribbean. And OnSpot is one of the providers that actually does a really good job of this. Most of the marinas we've been to with OnSpot Wi-Fi have ample access points all scattered around, usually fast speeds, and the networks are well managed and well done. It's a it's contrast to the typical marina or um, campground Wi-Fi where the public network is garbage. OnSpot has a reputation for doing it right, and well, I guess part of doing it right is they're kicking bad actors off their network. And in along those lines, we've just been getting updates from uh, some of our members that checking into OnSpot Marinas now, they're getting notifications that Wi-Fi extenders are no longer being allowed on the network to extend the range of the OnSpot connections. And OnSpot has actually confirmed with us that they are going down and tracking down and blocking these offending devices. Now these are devices from uh, Netgear, TP-Link, D-Link, Linksys, and a whole raft of other generic Wi-Fi extenders. And these are devices that are typically sold for home usage, um, like you know where you're trying to get a Wi-Fi signal into a dead spot in a remote bedroom or something like that. And these cheap little Wi-Fi extenders just plug them into the wall and they pick up one network and basically rebroadcast to extend the range. The, the catch is when you're doing that in a marina, well, you're just basically in messing up with their entire network architecture, their network design, and suddenly other neighboring boats might be having an extra hop that is just adding a lot of extra noise and slowing down the overall network for everybody. So these kind of basic Wi-Fi extenders aren't a good idea. They're not a well-matched for public networks. They're good for homes and residential areas where you control the entire network yourself. And, well, I guess uh, OnSpot has had enough of these causing trouble on their network, and they're actively now blocking them. Now, this does not apply to higher-end routers and um, CP devices that are um, using Wi-Fi as WAN to connect upstream to an OnSpot network and then creating their own local private Wi-Fi network. So this is the sort of thing that um, Pepwave routers do, um, Wi-Fi Ranger, uh, WineGuard, uh, King, um, all these other things that are focused on why they're extending the range of the Wi-Fi network, but they're connecting to your own private downstream network. They're not making a new public network that other people are connecting to. And OnSpot has told us that they are not blocking that kind of devices. They're the ones that actually behave well and work well with their network. And they actually even have several that several of those devices that they particularly recommend, like the um, you know, Pepwave uh, Surf Soho is uh, one of the routers that they specifically certify as saying that they've tested and like. So sum this all up for marinas that are using OnSpot, generic consumer, cheap Wi-Fi extenders, no longer welcome. Wi-Fi routers with Wi-Fi as WAN are good to go and are officially endorsed and supported. And well, we probably expect other marinas might be following in OnSpot's footsteps and might be taking similar active countermeasures. So if you are using these basic consumer Wi-Fi extenders, they're, they're probably not a good fit for usage on a boat and at a marina anyway. So look into getting better gear if you need better long range Wi-Fi access to these public networks. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.